Hello and welcome to I'm a Biker and it's raining electrics, right? There's a new electric scooter launching every other day and this is the new promising looking e-trans Neo from Pure EV and let's check out what it's all about. First thing that I like about the e-trans Neo from Pure EV is that you know, it doesn't look like an electric. Like for example, when you check out some of the electric scooters that have come in the market, especially the ones on uh, budget range, you, you see that they got weird designs, weird shapes and they don't look like a normal scooter. And I honestly don't want a scooter that stands out and screams I am electric and looks weird. And in that, in that way, I think the e-trans Neo looks properly like a normal scooter you know from any other manufacturer so let's get the key numbers out of the way so it comes with a 2.5 kilowatt hour battery uh, it's a, got a 2.2 uh, kilowatt hour rated motor uh, with a constant power delivery of about 1.5 kilowatt hour i'll tell you what do those numbers mean a little bit later and of course you got disc brakes at the front drum brake at the at the rear it's a hub motor as well and the hub motor is uh, IP67 rated, which means you don't need to worry about, you know, uh, those odd times, you know, you entering a submerged pothole, you know, <laughs> with, on a rainy day. So that's, that's not a problem. And other small uh, features include, you know, you got the security system, uh, you know, basically the alarms. You got the LED headlights also at front. One key thing that I have to say, uh, which I like about this this uh, electric scooter, is that the battery is actually portable. So you can actually remove it from the scooter, take it to your home, and charge it at peace. Especially uh, helpful if you know if you're staying in an apartment setup which does not have a plug-in point uh, at your parking level. So of course the battery pack is a bit heavy; it's about 13 kgs, but still it's you know decently manageable. And also of course if you are in a setup where you know you have easy access to a charging point. Uh, where you park your scooter, there's a charging point up front as well. Let's talk a bit, a little bit about the manufacturer itself. So Pure EV uh, is an IIT Hyderabad incubated startup, and uh, you know over the last year they have been well funded as well. So it's not just another uh, electric scooter startup. And what they have focused is more on the ride experience and and the most important factor of the uh, electric scooter, which is the range and the initial torque and while they kept the other things as simple as possible. That particular reason is why this scooter has been priced competitively. It's, it's just uh, about 79,000 rupees ex showroom and you know, with all the subsidies that are there right now for the uh, electric scooter, this is actually one of the most affordable electric scooters, uh, which looks decent and has got a decent range as well. Let me first talk to you about the three modes that are available. So it's got three riding modes. Basically in the first mode, speed is limited to about 35 kilometers per hour. In the second mode, speed is limited to about 45. And in the third mode, speed gets extended to about 50, 56 kilometers per hour. But the good thing is that the torque available is, is same in all the modes. It's only the top speed that is being restricted in these modes. And uh, you can change it on the go as well. Now moving to the power of the motor itself. So it's got a 2.2 kilowatt hour peak power, which means this is where all the, uh, the initial torque and everything comes in from. And once you are on the move, it, the continuous available amount of power is about 15, 1500 kilowatt hour. So which means that once you're reached at a particular level, this is the amount of power that you're going to get. So coming to the battery, uh, the heart of this machine, you can call it. So it is a 2.5 kilowatt hour kilowatt hour battery and it's a lithium ion battery and it what uh, the guys at pure ev have done it of course it's a detachable battery as well so they have introduced a high uh, high density battery which basically uh, helps in the amount of power it can store which is why you have a larger capacity of 2.5 kilowatt hour so coupled with this battery uh, what the guys at pure ev have done is that they have their own battery management system uh, which is packed with the, within the battery cell itself the case itself so what this uh, and this this is entirely done by them and it's a proprietary software and a proprietary system by them so what this enables them is uh, is that 
maintain a cooler temperature and maintain the efficiency of the battery uh, such that you know you have uh, a right amount of power available right amount of voltage available uh, when you're giving the throttle and a constant power available when you're giving the throttle and the most important thing of batteries like this is temperature management so this battery temperature management system also enables them to keep this lithium ion cool and you know in all our various conditions So moving to the range aspect, so the guys at Pure EV say that you know uh, if you're riding in mode 1 which is the eco mode, you'll get a range which is actually more than 120 plus kilometers. So uh, obviously the speed is limited to about 35 kilometers per hour. So you're gonna have to toggle and depending on your usage style, you'll get a decent range. For us, we have been mostly riding in mode 2 and 3 which is you know uh, 45 and 55 kilometers per hour uh, that's the speed that you get and in the, in that mode we're getting close to 100 kilometers range which is actually quite good for a scooter because uh, if you see some of the premium scooters as well while they promise uh, 80 90 what you realistically get is only about 75 or 70 but even uh, uh, you know even a much more affordable scooter like this it's giving much more range even with a decent power and torque available so that's quite impressive so the one thing i like about how the performance is delivered is the instant torque okay i do wish the throttle response was a bit more uh, predictable in terms of there's this little bit of a lag before the power comes in so that's something you need to get used to and i see that as more of a safety feature because you know even the first uh, the whack of throttle you don't get the entire power and it just takes a second before the power comes in uh, because you know randomly if you're holding the throttle since there's no sound the scooter might just zoom away you know when you're just standing there and you know people have the habit of just playing with the throttles <laughs> so maybe maybe that's a safety feature but that's something you can get used to very easily and uh, so once once the power comes in regardless of what mode you are the 0 to 35 0 to 40 is actually quite fast it does it in about uh, just about uh, six seconds so that is actually quite fast and it does that even with a pillion so and even on a gradient so that that feel is really good okay now moving on from performance let's let's talk about uh, handling probably one thing that could have been better is how the suspensions are set up it's a bit on the stiffer side and a bit bouncy and on normal flat roads on plain roads uh, without any potholes it's fine but the moment the road gets a bit what do you say there are small potholes you really start to feel those so probably the suspensions could have been a bit more better then coming on to the braking uh, braking is another really good uh, feature on this bike of course disc brake at the front drum brake at the rear uh, and the brakes are really good and uh, they stop you quite fast and uh, i was not expecting this these good brakes on this scooter so when I told the uh, Pure EV guys that, you know, the suspensions are a bit stiff, uh, stiff, what they told me that they have a model focused more on comfort, which is the E Pluto 7G. And that has got suspensions which are tuned for and uh, tuned for more comfort. But this has been, you know, more uh, price competitively. That's why uh, the difference in, in comfort. I'm 5'11 and uh, when I sit, of course, if I sit with a pillion, I have my knees touching but for solo riding no problem at all you can just sit a little bit back and it's quite uh, comfortable and there's enough space and the one thing probably that I miss is the under seat storage and the security it provides because usually you know the scooter life is that you just throw some stuff under the seat and you know uh, you just walk away so it's not possible because that's where the battery sits and they told me they're figuring out a different way to uh, place the battery so probably in a future model or future update uh, that would be different. But apart from that, you have a couple of spaces up front and a couple of hooks at front for your storage needs. So the display is actually pretty basic. Uh, of course, it shows the different modes uh, that you're in. And of course, the charge remaining, the speed 
So the one interesting thing is that the moment you turn on the ignition, it shows the total odor rating. Uh, that you know what how many kilometers you're clocked on the whole but that thing automatically changes after 10 seconds and then you have the trip meter that default comes on the screen and it is always reset uh, when you uh, switch on and off so that you know exactly how many kilometers you're clocked uh, with the charge available right now right so now coming to the tires these are the tires from C8 and they do the job pretty well and I think they also really affect like how I said the braking is really good so it's a really good job uh, in terms of the tires and the braking setup. And now moving on to the overall build quality. Typically, these sort of affordable electric scooters are not really well built. Uh, in that sense, when I look at the e-trans Neo from Pure EV, it is actually put together quite decently and not as premium as you know something we see from uh, Aether or Bajaj or even TVS. But overall, it's and for the price that is it is on offer, it is built together quite well. Fit and finish, you know, I do hope, wish that certain things were well hidden for example you can see some exposed wire bits from here but uh, not a concern and for the type of daily use that it's meant for this sort of scooter you know you're looking at uh, you know, for either going to your if you know that you're going to clock 50 60 kilometers a day in you know, office and back or you just want something at your house that is easily you can go to the store and come back in I think this sort of scooter is perfect for that of course ideally it's meant only for the cities because limited range and when I say limited range uh, you know the I'm talking about 100 plus kilometers which is really good for a scooter in this price bracket so coming to the warranty and service service is different when you speak about electric scooter it's mostly of checkups and basic lubrication so the guys at Pure EV are offering uh, four free services and of course after that uh, it, those are paid ones and of course these are at the dealership like any uh, like any other uh, vehicle and uh, regarding warranty, so the base price, which is the uh, 78999, in that you get a warranty of uh, one year for the motor, one year for the controller, basically the basically the ECU you can say of the electric scooter, and you get uh, three years for the battery. That you can actually pay around 2,000 rupees extra, and you you can increase the battery warranty up to five years, uh, two years for the controller, and uh, three years for the motor so uh, right now uh, coming to uh, availability and uh, waiting periods etc right now they're available all across uh, southern india i mean and even in delhi and gujarat i think the next dealership that is coming up is in goa in kerala they have uh, two dealerships ready with uh, multiple other dealerships coming up as well in bangalore i believe there are more than six dealerships so and right now there's no waiting period associated with these scooters so uh, all in all looks good for the brand so what is my verdict on the e-trans neo from pure EV? well if you are in the market for an electric scooter and in fact if you are in the market for any scooter i think the e-trans neo makes a really good uh, option because it's a more functional scooter and they have not tried to uh, add in a lot of extra unnecessary features uh, and you know bloat up the price and so i think that is something which I really like. For example, a basic scooter now costs, the petrol scooter costs close to 1 lakh rupees. And, uh, and you know, I honestly am not a fan of uh, features like GPS locating, geofencing. I, I really don't think it is necessary uh, on an electric scooter. So, and, and when it comes to the uh, e-trans Neo, they have ensured that, you know, they have kept all the gimmicks away. They kept a proper serious electric scooter and concentrate on the strong point that is having range and good talk to pull you through all situations thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one